All right, folks, this is the process to go about commissioning and setting up your Tesla Gen 3 wall connector. The wall connector needs to be in commissioning mode, which is evidenced by this blinking light. If your electrician has come and already set it up and has since gone, and you're now coming back at the end of the day, you can go down to your breaker, turn your breaker off, wait uh, a few seconds, turn it back on, in which case all the bars will light up, and then this blinking light will light up, or you can pull the handle out, then you press and hold the button for about set, uh, five to 10 seconds, in which case uh, all the bars will light up and we'll go into this mode. What this does is turns the Wi-Fi on inside the Tesla wall connector. So go ahead and get your phone or device that you're using to connect to the Wi-Fi signal being broadcast. We'll wait here for all of it. Here you see it says Tesla uh, wall connector. We're going to go ahead and connect to that. It's going to ask for a password and I'm going to enter the password which is on your sheet of paper here. And so I'm going to go ahead and enter that. It is case sensitive. So now that I've got the uh, password entered as evidenced, it's WAP2 and then it's got a series of characters. I'm going to go ahead and hit connect. So it says checking quality of internet connection. So here is the key where a lot of people get messed up. Internet may be available, connect only this time, always connect to Wi-Fi or disconnect. So in this case, you want to hit always connect because what your phone's going to try to do is try to switch back to the other, um, to the other Wi-Fi in your house or to your cellular that is set up. So now that we've got that set up, it gives you the Wi-Fi address, which we're going to go ahead and put in. Uh, you can either do it by scanning this QR code or you can enter the address. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that in my browser and we'll get that set up. So now I'm going to go ahead and enter in the uh, IP address for the Tesla wall connector. We'll wait for it to connect. So now we're in the commissioning uh, commissioning mode. There are several different setups. The first is whether there are any alerts. The second is Wi-Fi. This is where you'll want to go ahead and select your home Wi-Fi and put in your password for the Wi-Fi. Next, this is the software process. You can go through and you can check for updates. This one's been connected for about a month, so no updates are uh, available. This is also where you set up what sort of breaker you have. In this case, I have a 60 amp breaker, but you can adjust it to whatever you want. Hit save. And this is where you can hit access controls. You can do all vehicles, only Tesla or only authorized Teslas. So if you have your Tesla charger outside and you don't want your neighbors to mooch off your electricity, and then power sharing, this is the thing that really the Gen 3 is good for. You, It uses the Wi-Fi to load balance. Right now, I only have one Tesla wall connector, so there's really nothing. But if you wanted to enable that, you'd hit Enabled Network Share, and then it would load balance so you could plug in two Tesla wall connectors on the same 60 amp circuit uh, in your house without blowing the breaker, and it would load balance uh, those things using the Wi-Fi of the connectors. So folks, that's the process as to how you set up your Tesla Gen 3 wall connector with the Wi-Fi. Again, the key process is making sure that your Wi-Fi does not uh, auto reconnect back to the Wi-Fi signal where there's internet. That's where a lot of folks get messed up in the process of commissioning their Tesla Gen 3 wall connector. Uh, hit a thumbs up or a like and uh, shoot, uh, put any questions down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.